Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. I'm going to be doing your weekly read from the 15th of October through to the 21st. I went ahead and shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. First of all, we have the Two of Cups upright. Next, we have the Two of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Six of Wands in the upright. I swear this card is following the Scorpios around. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've gotten this card in the Scorpio reading. Next, we have Major Arcana, the Moon, reversed. And lastly, we have the Ace of Wands in the upright position. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. Hmm. Let's see. For the overall energy, you have the Two of Cups in the upright position. I love the energy. I do enjoy this energy. The Two of Cups is uh, basically... When two people are getting along really, really well, they're seeing eye to eye, they're on the same level, and um, it can definitely represent a romantic interest for any of you that who are maybe newly seeing someone and are getting along very well with this person. And uh, this can represent just having a good time as well with a best friend, uh, seeing eye to eye, having uh, really good conversations and so forth. This is just really good connective energy. Um, it's good to have for sure for your overall energy of the week, Scorpio. Now, when you come into the week of the 15th, we have the energy of the Two of Pentacles in the upright position. This is a card that represents harmony in the midst of change. It can represent juggling for some of you out there who maybe are dating two different people and you're doing so successfully. Um, you're managing to uh, you know, keep your emotions in check and keep everything balanced. Uh, for others of you, it could be representing uh, juggling two different jobs or two uh, different situations. Maybe you're juggling um, work and school or uh, work and renovating a home or just whatever it is that you're doing. It looks like you have a full plate, and but you are doing it successfully and um, you are just you know skipping along here <laughs> you're managing to keep things in check and that's good you're not getting out of balance there's a, that card represents a lot of balance there you have two twos here in the reading representing you're in balance always good to be in balance and then the two of pentacles is uh, paired with the six of wands in the upright position like i said scorpio has been getting this card an awful lot lately this is the card that uh represents a recognition um the victory it's definitely the card the minor arcana kind of version of the chariot it represents victory um sort of getting accolades for work well done job well done kind of thing um it can represent uh you know, people cheering you on, um, doing a good job, basically. And also uh, reaching some goals. Maybe some Scorpios out there have had, had set certain goals for work or things like that. And you're actually reaching your goals. It's a card of victory and success. Always good to see. And I'm happy to see it come up so often <laughs> for Scorpios. <laughs> Now, moving on towards the weekend of the 20th and the 21st, you have the only major arcana you have in the read is uh, the moon in the reverse position. Now, the moon upright, um, this represents, it can represent uh, intuition, um, sometimes not seeing things clearly, being confused, um, not really knowing what the situation is because we can't see things as clearly in the light of the moon as we can in the light of the day, right? When the, the sun is shining and, and we can see objects and details very clearly. When we're looking at things in the moonlight, things are a little bit vague. And um, sometimes we have to use our intuition a lot in order to sort of see what's really there. When the moon card is in the reverse position, this could mean exactly that, that some Scorpios are actually starting to see a situation or maybe even several situations very clearly now, whereas before things were a bit skewed, a bit confusing, and a bit 
the, the, the moon was probably upright at some point, and now it's in the reverse position means maybe listening a little bit more to the intuition and getting guidance or maybe getting guidance from elsewhere and tapping into what we know to be true and coming out of that illusion a little bit and finding our clarity. So it's very, very good to see this energy. Um, and this is going towards the weekend of the 20th, 21st. Now that card is also paired with the Ace of Wands in the upright position. This is the final card in the read. The Ace of Wands is wonderful energy. This card represents a passionate new beginning, an offer coming towards uh, Scorpio. Now this could be playing out on several different uh, avenues for se on several different uh, avenues for Scorpio because the Ace of Wands can represent anything from a fabulous new idea that uh, maybe Scorpio gets. It's a, oh, like an aha moment where I know exactly what I want to do or exactly what I want to implement. Sometimes the um, Ace of Wands can represent um, an offer coming from somewhere else, somebody else for a passionate new beginning can represent um, the start of an enterprise or a business or something, and, but it moves quickly. The, it's wand energy, so it's fast moving. Um, it could just be that, uh, you know, a, a lightning bolt idea just comes out of nowhere or somebody just offers you something or you happen to see something at a quick glance, um, something that catches your eye on the internet or something like that. And you move towards it and it turns out to be something that you're interested in. So um, it could be an interesting offer coming to you from someone else. But it's just an ace, so it's in the budding stages, but it could turn into something, you know, incredible for you. Especially with having this uh, two of cups in the upright position, this can definitely uh, point to any of you that are out there looking for a relationship. It could be that towards the weekend of the 20th, 21st, there is an offer that comes your way. Uh, but it's just sort of, like I said, uh, something quick that just kind of comes in, catches your eye, or you know, you notice it right away. Um, but overall, this is, a, again, a really good reading, Scorpio. You've been getting a lot of them. Uh, Jupiter is now in Scorpio, so it looks like uh, things are starting to turn around on a more positive note. And good to see, and it's been a long time coming, Scorpio. I hear you on that. <laughs> I hope this reading helped you, and if it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I want to thank all of you who have been uh, like, sharing, subscribing, leaving comments, uh, sending me messages. I mean, this is, has been an incredible uh, couple of months, an incredible journey for me, and I hope it has been for all of my other viewers out there thank you so much for your donations your support of my channel has been extraordinary very happy to um you know be out here doing this for you guys and i hope you appreciate it i know you do <laughs> i know i love doing it and uh take good care guys okay until next time if you would like to book a private reading with me the details are in the about section okay have a great week scorps bye for now